Hi students, in this session I am going to discuss some important tricks to solve atomic structure questions easily. In this video mainly I am focusing about ionization energy, ionization potential, binding energy, excitation energy and excitation potential. These are the very easy topics but what students do is they feel that these are the tough concepts and they, they uh, never attempt these questions or few, few. and few students uh, they commit little mistakes while solving the numerical and they, leave, and they leave the question or they do mistake and they lo lose their marks. In this video what I am going to do is I am going to teach this concept very easily and I am going to solve the numericals also so that when whenever next time you see these kind of questions you definitely will be perfect and you get your score well. Let us start this session. First I am going to discuss about ionization energy. See here. It is energy required to remove an electron completely from ground state of an atom. Basically, I think you studied ionization energy definition in chemical bonding chapter. That is an amount of energy required, minimum amount of energy required to remove an electron from an uh, uh, valency shell of an isolated uh, gaseous neutral atom. But here the definition is little different. It is an amount of energy required to remove an electron completely from the ground state of an atom. Here the condition is the ground state is n equal to 1. Clear students? This is completely based on Bohr's model. This definition Bohr model is applicable uh, for only one electron species. Maximum conditions majority the electron stays in first uh, first level so that it gets uh, it gets the stability. Let us see here. Suppose this is a first level, this is the atom, here nucleus is there, first level, second level, third level, first level means what students, n equal to 1, sorry this is a first level, n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n is equal to 3 and n equal to 4, uh, so on. See here, suppose if electron is there on first level, here it is the electron. What we want to do is we want to take it out this electron completely. We want to remove this electron completely. We want to remove the electron completely means n equal to infinite level we want to bring the electron. So that to make the electron out, to bring this electron out, what we have to do is we should give the give some amount of energy. This energy we have to give in the form of photons. So that this electron photons comes here and this electron will be ejected out. Right. How much amount of energy we have to give that completely depends upon the energy gap between the two. Right. Here I am I am going to write the de uh, energy definition directly, energy formula directly. Energy of electron in an orbit, its formula is minus 13.6 z square by n square electron volt per atom. This is the formula. See students here n equal to 1. So substitute in n place 1 you get minus 13.6 z square by 1 square electron volt per atom. And here n equal to infinity n equal to infinity means you will get energy is 0. So that at infinite level e equal to 0. Let us take the difference between the two levels energy gap and then you will get the amount of energy required to make this electron out to bring this electron out or to remove an electron that is the exact meaning. So delta e equal to e infinity minus e1 first energy level. What is e infinity? 0 minus what is E1 minus 13.6 Z square by 1 square. So that you will get plus 13.6 Z square electron volt per atom. Means this is the amount of energy required to remove an electron. This is an ionization energy which is required to remove an electron out. Let us see one question based on this. Now you are going to solve very easily. You feel so happy after this question. Calculate ionization energy of He plus ion. 
so how to do this students you only tell me plus delta e or i e equal to what is the formula plus 13.6 z square electron volt per atom clear then substitute what is the z value i'll give you here see z equal to 1 for hydrogen helium ion I, i am taking only single electron species z equal to 2 atomic number is 2 lithium atomic number is 3 beryllium atomic number is 4 maximum conditions you will get these four only clear now tell me for helium ion 13.6 into z square how much 2 square then you will get 13.6 into 4 that is 54.4 electron volt per atom this is your answer clear suppose instead of electron volt per atom if units are different now see how to take that one electron volt per atom equal to 96.5 kilojoule per mole or one electron volt per atom equal to 23 kilocalorie per mole understand Instead of electron volt per atom, if you have uh, options in units, kilojoule per mole or kilocalories per mole is there in your options, just multi remove this and just multiply with this here with 54.4, you will get your answer in kilojoule. If you want in kilocalories, just multiply the answer with 23, you will get your answer in kilocalorie per mole. Keep this formula in your mind. Then it will be easy. Atomic structure, formulas, uh, derivations are there for this energy. I will discuss in the next video and more tricks are there. I am going to discuss in coming videos. Uh, apart from that, formulas if you have in your mind while solving numerical, it will be very easy for you. Let us see next one is ionization potential IP. This is the formula. Uh, this is a definition. See students, it is potential applied on electron at rest so that its kinetic energy becomes equal to ionization energy. Simply I will tell you, whatever the uh, electron volt per atom is, whatever the ionization energy you got, that is in electron volt. This much electron volts you have to apply to remove an atom. Right, to remove an electron from an atom. Now, Ionization potential means how, many, how much potential you have to apply at that electron when the electron is at rest, right? So, 50, suppose ionization energy is x electron volt per atom means ionization potential simply you can take it as x volt per atom. Understand x volt per atom, that's it. Here 54.4 electron volt per atom is an ionization potential. Then what the uh, ionization energy, what is ionization potential students? 54.4 volts per atom is the ionization uh, potential. That's it. It's very easy. Next topic is binding energy. See the test yourself question before going to next topic. First do this. Calculate the ionization energy of Li2+. plus. And that's it. Now do on your own. If you are able to do this, please give your like. Don't think that only one like yours. Your one like is more precious for me. It makes me to uh, do more and more videos. See binding energy. It is the energy required to remove electron completely from nth level. Understand, you are removing the electron from nth level. Here I am not mentioning that n equal to 1. Suppose if this nth level is in first level, first orbit, electron is present in first orbit, you are going to remove that electron, then you have to say that as an ionization energy according to Bohr model. Right. Apart from that, if electron is in second level or third level or fourth level, you can say that as binding energy. This should be clear in your mind. Let us see how to do this. Suppose... This is an N level, Nth level and you want to completely remove the electron out so that you can say next level is infinite level. How much energy you, you want to give to remove this electron out, you want to find that is the energy gap between these two. So that E for this level energy of electron in this level is how much students the minus 13.6 Z square by N square electron volt per atom. 
I am not going to discuss how this formula I am writing here. Uh, if I get the time in next video, I will discuss. If e is equal n equal to infinity, then energy equal to zero. Right. Now take the energy gap between the two e infinity minus e one. Let us take one or e two. Take here. Suppose if it is n equal to two or directly n only, you take zero minus minus of thirteen point six j square by n square. Then how much you will get, students? Plus thirteen point six j square by n square. Electron volt per atom. Same formula there and here also. Both formulas are same. Only the difference is their n value is one. That's why you are getting thirteen point six j square. Easy formulas. Here, if you substitute n value two, you will get your answer. That's it. If options is given in different units, I told you how to convert it. Just convert it. Now I am going to give you one question. Try to solve this question. Calculate binding energy of second orbit of H three plus. In the same way, use this formula and try this question. Solution I am going to discuss in next video. Next one is excitation energy. It is energy required to excite an electron from n equal to one level to nth level. Clear, students here. Ground level is n equal to one level, and next level you you we don't want to remove the electron completely. Here, just electron is moving from one level to another level, like first level to second level, or first level to third level, or n equal to three orbit means n equal to fourth fourth orbit. Like this, electron is just moving. Then we say it as an excitation energy. Easy. Suppose if it is first level and you are you want to remove it completely, means n equal to infinity, then it is ionization energy. When you, when the question is given in your exam, first you have to identify that comes under what excitation energy or binding energy or ionization energy. Then which formula you have to substitute. n equal to one, and suppose this is nth level n equal to n. You have to give some amount of energy. Then only this electron can move from here to here. If n equal to one, then e one equal to what is the formula? Thirteen point six j square by n square, right? So n value one, so one square electron volt per atom. And here e n equal to Minus thirteen point six j square n level is any level like second, third, fourth, etc. So it will be n square electron volt per atom. Now let us take how much energy is required for this transition. Take the energy difference between two delta e or e e excitation energy is e n minus e one. So that it will be minus thirteen point six j square by n square. Minus of minus thirteen point six j square by one square. Now minus thirteen point six j square by n square minus of minus plus thirteen point six j square by one square. What you can take the take common thirteen point six j square you can take common so that positive term I am writing first one by one square is left minus one by n square is left. This is the unit. What are, what is the unit electron volt per atom? Just uh, doing same. If you want to convert, uh, do how I told you in the same way you do. You you will get it. This is the formula you have to substitute. Now I'll give you question. Just try this question. Calculate second excitation energy of Li two plus. Try this question. Solution of these three questions I am going to give in next video. But try it. Don't see the solution directly. Here I'll give you one more tip to solve this. If first excitation energy is given in the question, means the transition is just from one to two. So n one equal to one and n two equal to two. I mean from uh, n n value here is two. You have to substitute two. Second excitation energy means the excitation is from one to three, and third excitation energy means one to four. What generally is Uh, students do the mistake is if second excitation energy means they substitute one to two and they'll take here n value two. Got the clarity? Yes. I hope you like this video. Please give your like. Thanks for watching.
One more is left that is excitation potential. It is a potential required to accelerate an electron from rest so that its kinetic energy becomes equal to excitation energy. See here, simply I will tell you whatever the uh, formula you use, whatever the answer you get, same answer just you uh, remove the electron it is just volts you are applying to that so that electron jumps from that level to the next level in options both volts and electron volt will be given if it is excitation potential just tick the volt option if it is excitation energy just uh, tick the electron volt per atom thanks for watching